Hey guys, Justin here. I'm here to talk about the attack range state. Let's go to our NPC sample, the behavior component. Down here are the attack settings. Attack settings has two categories, the melee and the ranged. Target's consideration radius is the distance for an actor to be considered an attack target. You can also require a line of sight. Click on the range attack. You notice here universal options for each of the behavior states above and unique properties for the range attack down below. The attack range distance is the actual range of the range attack. How far can the AI do a ranged attack? The attack range transition is the state that the AI will change to once it finishes its ranged attack. The attack speed is the speed or delay in between ranged attacks. The num attacks before reload is the number of attacks before the AI needs to reload its weapon. Num attacks is the current number of range attack it has done prior to reload. Lastly, we have the reload animation, which is the animation to play while reloading. Now, to make our AI do a range attack, let's click on attack range behavior config here in the animation. Let's add an animation for our range attack. I already have a fire rifle animation. You can also have your own. Just gonna add it. AM fire rifle. This is an animontage. As you, if we open it, you'll notice right here it is as a notify of spawn projectile. This notify basically has a logic of firing the projectile. Here you can implement whatever logic you have for firing projectiles. If you go back, after we set the animation, let's set our attack range distance to about a thousand. Attack range transition to idle. Attack speed, let's say 0.5. Num attacks before reload, let's set that to 10. And the reload animation, let's have AM reload right here. Now here in the target tags, you can see that it is set to player, meaning our AI character will be looking for an actor that has a tag of player. In the general settings above, let's set the initial behavior to attack ranged. Hit compile. Now since my AM fire rifle is using an anim notify of spawn projectile, I need to use the anim blueprint that has that spawn projectile implemented. In that case, I have here anim BP and BC ranged. This is all also included in the toolkit. If you have imported everything, you should have this. So hit compile and make sure, again, make sure that we have a player tag set in our player character because that is what our AI character will be looking for. So let's hit play. You can see it fires. It fires every 0 0.5 seconds and then reloads. Now you notice that it stopped attacking after it reloaded. That is because it went to our range transition, which is the idle state. Now if we want him to attack again, we have to go to our idle settings and let's add a delay trigger. So once it goes to our idle, let's have a delay of zero point of delay of one and random deviation of zero point five and the behavior two to attack range. This means that once it enters idle settings, it will trigger a delay. Once that delay is done, it will go back to attack ranged. Now let's hit compile. Let's go back. Now it attacks every 0 0.5 seconds. It reloads. It goes to the idle and attacks again. Now we can also set our AI to attack for a specific amount of seconds instead of attacking until it needs to reload. Here in the attack range settings, we have, can add a delay trigger 
right here. So we can set it to like 2 seconds, 0 0.5, and then it goes to idle. So this means that it will attack for 2 seconds plus minus 0 0.5, and then it will go to idle. So hit compile, play again, hit attacks, and then until he needs to reload. Do this though again. So that is the attack ranged.